My name is Brandon Lampasas. I have enjoyed the sport of fishing my whole life. I have fishing experience ranging from, from the upper panhandle of Idaho down to the Owyhees. I have learned many lessons from my great grandpa Thad who has taught me what I know about fishing and even more life lessons. I have seen the impact that humans can have on trout fisheries throughout Idaho and it makes me worried about the future of the sport. I have seen fishermen litter without second thought and I have seen people dump propane and other unnatural substances straight into prime trout habitat. This type of attitude towards the river and surrounding environment affects the natural habitat in more ways than one. Fishing is more than a hobby to me, it's a major part of my life. I would hate to see a permanent impact caused by humans being careless. Climate change and fishing, huh? Seems pretty far-fetched. However, my favorite pastime is now in danger, more than ever. The Boise River offers a variety of fish, mainly rainbow trout. Elsewhere in Idaho, there is an annual steelhead and salmon run through the Snake River. Dams on the Snake River affect the natural runoff and less and less salmon and trout make it back to their natural breeding grounds. This here is a rainbow trout. These fish are common in the Boise River and I've caught a few in my time. Baby rainbow trout feed on caddis, stoneflies, and mayflies. Caddis flies are small moth-like insects having two pairs of hairy, membranous wings. There are 12,000 subspecies of this fly. Caddis flies have aquatic larvae and are found in a wide variety of habitats such as streams, rivers, lakes, and more. Mayflies are small to medium-sized insects and have a very short lifespan spanning from a few hours to a day or two. There are 2,500 subspecies to the mayfly. Stoneflies have an elongate and flat and soft body. They have similar wings to the caddisfly and they have an aquatic larva and as adults they are weak flyers. There are 3,500 subspecies to the stonefly and they are found near streams, rivers, and lakes. The one characteristic that all three of these flies have is that they won't, they won't live or breed near polluted water. With climate change and a rising pollution in the rivers, this all leads to one resolution, no fish. Thankfully the damage currently done is still reversible, and it isn't too late to change. A shift in attitude toward the fish, and more importantly our earth, can keep the wonderful pastime for generations to come. Be happy to promote you. All right. What's really cool is you guys are doing some awesome stuff. Thanks. So.